Subscribe right now for great banter. If you want to buy players like this and this, then go to FIFACoinsMaster.com where you can buy a load of accounts, do cover trades, and buy shit loads of FIFA points. Use Osnos at checkout for five percent off your order. Link is in the description. Enjoy the video. Ba -ba 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 Hello everyone, it's Osnos HD and welcome to another video. Now, yes, I am back. I've been away for a very, very, very long time. About a week? About a... No, don't worry. Um, anyway, um, yeah, I've been away from about a week. Basically, the situation is my room is getting redone. Everything's... All my setup and everything's been put away. And um, you would have seen that on all my social media links. Follow me there. But um, yeah, all my setup's been put away put into storage and my room's getting completely repainted. If you want to see that, go to my vlog channel, check out my latest vlog and you can see visual evidence that my room is, I'm not able to basically make gaming videos there. So today we're in a completely different room, different setup and little facts, this room is where I made my first ever FIFA video. Yeah, but that's uh, that's privative now, so you sadly can't see that. But yeah, today we're going to go with a QA. and a I can say one more thing, um, videos will probably be starting regularly uh, from the weekend. Reason being is because my room isn't actually like done until Friday, maybe Saturday, or it could be early, who knows. Let's get into the Q&A. Goal or assist? Now I presume this question is referring to football. Now it depends on the position I play. I normally play centre mid, so um, it's quite nice to get a bit of both. Uh, I probably prefer goal because it's more, it's more appreciated. If you score a goal from midfield, like assist is like what midfielders are meant to do, but if a midfielder scores a goal, it's less likely, so it's kind of it's kind of better in a sense. But if I'm playing up front, which I occasionally do, then yeah, I obviously prefer a goal as well because that's what strikers are there to do, put the ball in the back of the net. Boobs or arse? Boobs. Will you play any new games in the future? Now on my blog channel, the second channel, you can get in the description as I told you earlier. But yeah, I'm planning to some, maybe some types of games with other YouTubers, like I'm thinking maybe that Agario kind of video, I know a lot of my friends are into that as well, my non-YouTube friends, but um, yeah, I'm going to see, maybe play a couple of games that, in, let me know down below if you're interested in that, what games I should play, I'm not into kind of like first person shooting games, FIFA's the only kind of like console game I'm into, but computer games and stuff like Agario and Cards Against Humanity I may have played, so let me know what you want in the comments and I'll try and try and get that for you. What was the first FIFA you have ever played? Now I believe, I believe the first FIFA I ever played was FIFA, I think I kind of came in at FIFA 12-ish, um, not quite sure, I used to be a massive Pez kind of guy, used to always play pairs and then I know I just kind of slowly switched and when ultimate team came I think my first ultimate team was at the end of FIFA 12 um, and yeah so I that just came in and then ever since I've been hooked to ultimate team and now you see me play ultimate team on YouTube will you be starting any new series now, I've been thinking about this recently and I think I've got one series planned for FIFA 16 which is good because it's a it's a pack related RTG and I want to start that FIFA 16 because that means that I'll be able to open packs for the beginning of FIFA and hopefully get some good players in the series and stuff like that. Um, but the player I'm basing around may be too expensive in the beginning, so I'll have to see at the end of FIFA, but um, at the beginning of next FIFA. But I'm really excited for FIFA 16 and uh, other series. I'm gonna try because I, I tried earlier come up with this um, discard series. You know when you have the when you collab with someone, you have a four-way split screen. I tried to cut come up with. Um, one of those series before, it was called like Guess the Rating or something. It was pretty shit, um, to be honest. So I'm trying to think of one of them to do in the latter stages of FIFA because they're really fun and uh, you don't have to have something amazing in packs to play those. So I'm gonna try and come up with one of them and that means I can uh, collab with loads of other YouTubers, which would be great. What YouTubers do you watch the most? I got a couple, um, probably gonna have to say Capcom Tom, great YouTuber. He's really, really nice and he uh, sometimes like, points me out on a personal level, so uh, yeah, he's watched some of my videos and stuff like that. He's a great guy, and his, his videos are great, and daily is unbelievable. Um, next is Wayback. I know Capcom Tom himself is a fan of him. It's Wayback, he puts so much effort into his videos, especially the editing side of things, and they're really funny, and I really enjoy them. And the third one also has to be Chris MD. He's a, first of all, really, really, like, safe guy, he seems, and also his series are really good, like Ronaldinho's crew, recruitment, 
and everything he does is really good. And in my opinion, he is the pack king. Like I know Anderson Gibb, like well done, you pack quite a lot of players. You have Pat Pele. But I mean Chris MD has to be the pack king. If you actually look at who he's backed, he just is the pack king. But yeah, and also Jack 54 HD, he's he, like seven minute squads is one of my favourite series. I'm actually in contact with him at the moment, trying to um, play him. I'm not sure whether it'll be on his stream or if it's a video, that'd be amazing. But yeah, look out for that in the future. If a Chuck Norris could chuck Chuck Norris, how much Chuck Norris could chuck Norris? Now, I got this question two times, and both times I was like, J just fuck off, just fuck right off. But um, thought I'd put it in, because Vinny is a, is a YouTube friend of mine, and yeah. Thanks for that, mate. Well done. Who is your number one player you would sign for Chelsea if you were Mourinho? Now, if I was Mourinho, I think if I had the same like tactics as Mourinho and um, same mindset as him, um, then I would. My first player would have to be Gareth Bale. I think he suits the Chelsea Mourinho's Chelsea style perfectly. Just slot him in the right mid. Like, I'm I'm not that upset about getting rid of players like Oscar and that. If, if we're getting Gareth Bale right mid. Him and Hazard on the wings would be unstoppable. He has a great work rate. He's unbelievable. And um, yeah, it just make Chelsea a more world class team. And I love Gareth Bell, me personally being half Welsh myself. But um, yeah, Gareth Bell would have to be top. Then Pogba second, maybe. He'd be great. And then third, I know you only asked for one, but I'll give you the top three. And then third, maybe Varane at centre back. Him and Zuma in the future would be unbelievable. Dream collab. Now, obviously, everyone's going to say your dream collab is like KSI or. Debatably, if you're into gaming, PewDiePie, but that's just for the amount of subs. But I don't know. I just, I think like my dream club would just be with someone that, someone that I look up to, or someone that maybe start YouTube or something. Just, just a big name for the YouTuber that I respect quite a lot. So, for example, I was talking earlier about maybe, uh, like, hopefully collabing with Jack Fifty Four HD, and that would be unbelievable. And if that happens, like. That would be just so sick. So that's that's kind of like my dream, but not my dream really. Like the dream is obviously like collabing with Kev's like, who wouldn't dream about that? Because first of all, you get an unbelievable amount of subscribers. Second of all, you get to meet effectively a celebrity. But yeah, if I if I got to end up collabing with Jack 54 or Capcom Tom or someone like that or Chris MD, someone like that, that that'd be a dream come true, really. Dream come true does sound quite moist. It, it'd be great. It'd be a great thing to do. Not it wouldn't really be a dream, because I dream about doing a lot better things, but oh fuck, this is getting too sick. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, well done. Will you do a gaming setup tour and when? Obviously, with my room getting redone, it means that I'm gonna. My setup's going in a completely different place in my room and it's getting completely changed. But there's some things that I need to get for my setup, which I'll be getting in my birthday, which is around November. So I think I'll, I'll wait till then to do it because. My setup's just going to be the exactly the same as when my last setup video was, but just in a different place in my room. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to um, wait till my birthday slash Christmas when I get new things to add to my setup, then do a massive setup slash room tour, which will hopefully be amazing. Right guys, that's the end of the Q&A. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you smash the like button. Try and smash 30 likes, I don't know, it's a return video. But if you want to get involved in my next Q&A, which will probably be in a couple of weeks, then follow me on Twitter, the link is down in the description, and you can ask me questions there. But yeah, that's all from me. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.